How is Ortiz part of every kill in that game? The the sh wolf shard, maybe. What do you mean? The lycan shard. It doesn't hit heroes, does it? No, but maybe it counts as being near? Does not. No. <laughs> I'm gonna show you trying to pull. What are you trying I to pull know. here? Does it not? No, I think not, you just. Does it the shards? <gasps> no, how? How? If they're buff. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it is, right? You yeah, just like, definitely how just, just buffs and then. Yeah. DK, interesting. Dragon Knight, yeah. Harry DK. What punishes DK mid? Razor? Slark mid. Monkey King mid. I mean You hit him. As, does it actually does it actually crush him now though? I think Slark mid's pretty good. Not as you much as it used times, to. And then you can just, yeah, yeah, just cause you CS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I feel like DK can actually do a little bit better now. Because the level one's not that bad. You just go stun and hit him. Uh, Slark's pretty bad. But yeah. Monkey King, I think. That's a good that could have been a good like takeaway pick. I think that Shopify could have wanted that. Oh yeah, for against DK. Great. Pick a lush. This is nice. Actually, I like Shopify again. I like Lash a lot.
Ooh. Ah, there's a last shoe. I don't like Carry DK. Do you? Is it good? Carry DK? Good verse. No, though. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know, actually. But it's Carry Lush. Was it? Oh, bad. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. GBS Gaddish. Fire Rebellion and Blacklist rivalry. Fog, what do you make of the approach this time around? Because Blacklist getting that Nargus Iron Pink out nice and early does give the opportunity, of course, for Shopify Rebellion to draft uh, uh, in, in regards to that. Um, but as we heard from the battle, the Nargus has been pretty good for Blacklist. Yeah. Is it going to be good here? Uh, I... <sighs> It looks tough. I don't know. <laughs> just because the three core picks, you know, I'm, I'm wondering how RTC is going to be able to do with that DK, but it's just the Lesh versus Nagas. It's a hard matchup. I actually think this is a really good pick here for Aben. We saw him pop off extremely hard last game as his puck. So I'm, I'm looking at him. I like their draft last game. It was a very kind of close game until that one big explosive kind of fight there, of course, from the end. But see how it ends up going down here. I don't know if we're going to see many black holes this game, right? There's definitely a lot of different ways to cancel. It's going to be difficult for him, but... The three cores just feel like they have really good matchups versus the Nagasarn kind of at all stages. So let's see if Blacklist, they can kind of, uh, you know, the thing about the Nagasarn versus these, some of these longer cooldown heroes versus like Enigma, Tide, and DK, see how much they can actually play around it with just manipulating the map, with just splitting things up constantly. Yeah, and do you imagine that uh, Blacklist, they, they will again try and play this out in a similar fashion to last game, where they, they just try and keep it going and try and survive through the early fights that, Black, uh, that, uh, that Shopify Rebellion bring to them? Sorry, I got totally distracted oh, oh, by the whole <laughs> chat between them. I don't know. They said something about under the table. Under the what? I don't know. I, I, I got know. I got distracted. I'm so sorry, Owen. Because <laughs> uh, you know we have the we have the SCA versus SCA, so we do. Of course, we're gonna have a tons of little back and forth between the two of them. There. Indeed. Apologies. What you ask me? Um. Uh, yeah. What, what sort of timings Blacklist are gonna be playing towards? You know, when they have this Nargis Siren, is, is it gonna be sort of the the kind of go late, kind of slow things down that uh, that they were trying for in last game? Yeah. Or, probably. Or, I mean, their overall lineup doesn't. Does it enable them to do a bit more sooner this time, or is it, is it the same again, running like sort of the Naga and like this Doom? They'll probably have to play it a bit slow paced. I think Carl will be the dictator how he does in the mid matchup and what ruins how he makes the rotations. Because we did see an explosive game from somebody you know, like Noob the other day. Noob oh, yeah. just completely took over the game as a primal beast. But he was versus he was versus Pango, so like that's quite a bit of an easier matchup overall throughout all of the game. While Lash, I feel like has a pretty okay matchup versus the primal, so. We'll see how much he's able to do, but yeah, I think it's going to be Blacklist that kind of just making space to the map, cutting things out, looking to play around cooldowns and stuff like that. But yeah, I do like what Shopify's approach is this time. The DK, the Lash, the Tide, really strong versus Naga at all stages. And even in the lane, like Tide, Saberlight will have an app, look, in theory, should have an absolutely free time down here. Okay. Versus Silencer and versus a Naga Siren. So uh, it should be pretty big. Uh, and what about top lane? I mean, I mean the, 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 well, there's DK in the safe lane. This can get bullied early by the, the power of the techers and the doom or will RTZ very quickly get to a point where he's going to feel pretty safe in this this top line? I would imagine he should feel pretty safe. He's got Enigma constantly pulling the lanes back. I think maybe if he just makes a mistake within like the first two levels, he could get burst down from the techies. Sure. But besides that, I think RTZ should be able to handle this. See how much Raven can get out of these uh, and, these early waves. And let's see how mid goes. I, I think Abed's going to really take advantage of this matchup. I think he's just going to hit Carl, keep him low, and just he's going to be. I think Abed's actually going to be at this pseudo carry in this game. Besides just the DK, the DK is going to be like the supporting cast carry until he feels like he gets that big itemization. Abed's going to be the one dishing out all of this damage because, as they mentioned, yeah, you can get globaled, you can get doomed, and stuff like that. But if you get your spells off first, you're going to be that great answer to Naga all game is cuckoo. It's going to be first blood, a Sableite. Is able to find him. I mean, already there, the strengths of this bottom lane from Shop of Fire Belly and showing its head. Yeah, they actually go for the Gush level two, so they just saw an opportunity to kill because Silencer is a pretty weak laner overall, I would say. Definitely always kill threat. As Saber got the kill, right? Yeah, yeah. so bring a health. Now he's completely. Yeah, he was already chilling, but now he's going to be. Yeah, he's going to be no super cares. chilling. It uh, gives a, a lot of freedom, oh. I guess, for crit to Mid. sort of head elsewhere. Carl, solo kill. Oh. Well, okay, Arbed. Off to a very hot start here. Already going to be able to get a decent lead on the CS, getting the solo kill. That's why they picked it. It's it's a great start. I mean, yeah, as you said, the, the, the way that they get it in the end of the draft, it, it's going to have a lot of strengths and a lot of different parts of the game, especially 
when he's having a start like this in his mid lane. And I'm, I'm, I actually am looking at like Blacklist Draft. I think they're pretty reliant on aggression, mm -hmm. really around Carl's game. So this is quite a bit of a slowdown here. He's six and one, a kill already on Abed. It's definitely going to make it a little bit more difficult for him to get off the bat here. I'm, I'm literally just hating him. That's just how you play the lane. He, anytime he goes in for a trample, you just lightning and stun right on top of yourself. Abed knowing the matchup perfectly. And yeah, Abed, he, uh, he, the definition of popped off last game. Literally zero deaths, part of like like 90 or 85% kill participation or something like that. So, and in this game, yeah, as we said, versus the Naga Siren, so I feel really, really good pickup for him to be that secondary carry. Yeah, top lane. Looks like indeed it's sort of fallen to, to the point yeah, where RTZ, he's more than happy to farm underneath his tower. KP? There's uh, very little they can do to, to threaten him. Yeah, and it's just like they're denying quite a bit too. You know, this Enigma, it's always going to be very annoying. Yeah, they, they can keep this land in a good spot and yeah, you, you're, you're happy to farm under your tower as a DK. Yep. RTZ's going to have no struggle hitting all these CS. You don't apply pressure to a Doom, but that you're never going to apply pressure to a Doom in this lane, you know? It's a, it's a, like one of the most passive lanes I think you could have, a DK plus an Enigma, so they just want to be able to farm on the side of Shopify, and they most like, they most definitely are. Is that a Courier Snipe? What was that? I guess it was on the way back after the Perseverance. Yeah, I didn't th don't think I had anything on. Yep, and the same build. We're seeing every single game, I think, on time yep. Almost every single game. And you, and you like this on the tide. Hammer. Yep. Yeah. I think I, I'm, I'm actually fine with it, except for if you're versus Rubik. Because I've seen too many times where these tides ravage and then start channeling Meteor Hammer and they just get the ravage stolen, so... But yeah, it's, it's great this game because now they have an extra form of being able to apply pressure onto this off lane, the tower. And it's great for his delusions. It's actually amazing for Snaga Siren, besides just being good on Tide. Smooth start for yeah. Shopify. Is crit. He's going to even just start. He doesn't feel like he has to even play bottom because his Tide's just going to be chilling there. He's just going to start getting stacks. So just get the stacks ready for the Lesh, get the stacks ready for the Tide, enable them to get that much extra farm. Why? Can they set up for him top? Well, they are going to connect with the Sticky. As uh, they jump forward, won't quite be able to close him with the blast off, but the right clicks fly. Okay, Cuckoo's turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. Easy. <laughs> and back through the other Easy. side. The <laughs> easiest plus two of his life there, Cuckoo. <laughs> that was a funny. That, that, that has to feel so bad if the Enigma's just like, wait, what the hell? And one of those situations where he would have wished that he died sooner. Sounds like they would have lost a bit of it. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, the RTZ is like, dude, good job. <laughs> Absolutely free farming up here. Yeah. Very difficult for, for them to take him down. They're, they're going to try actually with the Scorch Turf now, level two. Okay, I mean, he's got 13 wand. It's true. He's, he's kind of baiting a little bit. And Sticky will connect. I mean, they, they do respect the wand charges there. You know, yep. Tim's not, not opting to jump in with the blast off. Knows that uh, indeed there would be ter potential turnaround with the, the stun. And the mid lane. The tower. They want Carl. They do. They're trying to get in on the, to him with the catch. These two supports, crit and flight. Put in the pressure. TPs have to come in. Cuckoo's going to be here to back Carl up. Make sure it's a little bit tougher for Shopify Rebellion to play aggressive. Carl should be fine. Back Carl. Gonna charge in. I mean, he's going to up. I mean, Carl, he, he went in for this quite aggressively. Fly's going to step back across. Carl can't quite get in with the Malefice. Over crit. the river, Tim's. He'll jump forward. Crit. He'll manage to deny the, the DD rune, but Cuckoo, he'll say thanks for another plus two. <laughs> they rally the troops. They bring three to mid just to stop this push, but a decent amount of tower damage anyway. Thousand damage onto it. At least they'll get the kill onto this Rubik, though. Yeah, Hammer's done for, for Saberlight. Of course, had a very free time down with all the movements from the supports going elsewhere. Easy lane and can now start putting pressure onto this tier one tower. Yeah. Top lane. See if they can get RTZ, Carl. And with the onslaught, has the pulverized. And RTZ turns with the dragon tail to try and get to the trees, but the tick damage of the scorched earth will be enough to take him out. Carl. Nice rotation. Coming in with a hot, hot move, yeah. He needs to get these type of kills. He doesn't get the last hit, unfortunately, for himself, but yeah, he needs to get some type of kills with rotations to catch back up in this game because of how much the Lesh has been able to do versus him. Naga, though, is still getting that free farm, so. I mean, that's still really, really good. Abed, though, is going to go back up to the farm inside that triangle that was being stacked up. Oh, no. Lanes, I mean, kind of even. I would say Arteezy, 1,100 behind the Naga sign. That actually kind of hurts. You know, he was getting those good last hits up there. Sure. Uh, and not the, the sort of the easiest heroes to, to catch up and farm with. You know, a lot of it's going to be down to what... Having the team back him up, push for the objectives, get the tower gold. Yeah, I guess try so. and go for kills. The, the the speed of Raven's farm is going to be much much quicker. Yeah, he's actually quite. I didn't re realize 26 last hits. When did that end up happening? 
I guess when Fly ended up dying, he got pushed I think with all the dives, and everything. Yeah, the, sort dives of, the dives just... coming in, he was sort of having to. He was getting chased around the tower, and he wasn't actually able to hit the creep wave. So missed out on a missed out on a good few waves. That actually is quite painful. You definitely want to have like very early good levels and stuff like that as a DK. I mean, and again, and he might actually go down again. I mean, yeah, he's doomed. He's not getting a lot of help up here. He TP's got the stun off. Now coming in. The Sticky Mind connects, they're in with the Blast Off, there's no saving Arteezy, he's going to be surely going down again. Denied. He's out. Nope. Arbet, can he at least find some kills in return? He'll try focusing down Carl. Crit and Fly, they're in with the control. They'll get Carl for this, but Arteezy continuing to suffer with the focus that Blacklist Rivalry putting it onto him on that top lane. And Shopify Belly in the backup turns up, but it's just a little too late. Concerns for sure for Arteezy. The Midas definitely has to get queued up for him to catch back yeah, up. Yeah, it's Midas time. Oh, yeah. Midas well by it. So, two, I mean, two core is definitely really struggling in this game. The mid laner from the side of Blacklist and the safe laner from the side of Shopify. See what kind of repercussion that ends up causing. As, as you said, Rev Raven, level 7, he's going to be able to just super pace this DK now at this point. Uh, then a lot of pressure, obviously, then falls towards sort of our bed and Saberlight with the start that they've had, right? Mm -hmm. Because these heroes, they are in a good spot right now. Saberlight's at the top of the net worth and Arbed just in the, those core matchups. A lot of potential to be had as a less track this game. So they, they, they're going to have to do a lot to make up for the slow start that Arteezy's had, where indeed with this Midas, this queued up, he's going to be playing for the recovery game and he's not going to be wanting to join the fights anytime soon. No, I mean, it has to be really safer, like going for these early tower pressure pushes. And he is getting them. Bottom they, they, tower is yep. gone. Mid, Mid tower is about to go down to Crit. Actually staying around over the area here for a sec. Won't get punished for it, though, as Saber Light. Now maybe Crit will get gone on. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, telekinesis, doesn't matter. Nice patience from Carl. He actually waited till the last word proc, so he knew he wouldn't got get lifted during the charge. Nice play. 1k lead now for the side of Blacklist. And they're, I mean, they even get this top tower out of all this aggression too, which is pretty big for their lineup. Because if you look at their lineup, they don't push towers. So. No, they, they hit creeps. They hit creeps. They hit creeps. They're and... all about the farm. And they're, they're hitting creeps pretty well so they far. Sure Raven are. and KP in fantastic positions. Yeah, Artuzzi, I mean, very, very slowed down. He can't even, they can't wait for him to like farm stacks. I think Saberlight, yeah, he should take this this stack here. Maybe later they can set up stacks for the Dragon Knight once he hits like the level 12 or once it gets closer to that level 12. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a slow recovery here for Artor. Power rune. It's gonna punt spawn top, Carl. Won't get the rune. Deny fly, but uh, he's gonna be taken out. Morint. Cuckoo just Shows up, doesn't even like get an attack off. Yeah, he's loving it. it. It's, it's one of those games where you can feel already is the silence. <laughs> you're like, hey, I'm, I'm getting this in nice and early. We're going to hit some big numbers today. What's the plan here for Cuckoo? Greed. The greed will be good. AP Midas soon online. And they'll go for a smoke, these two. Now, Cuckoo, he's, he's on the hunt for more in, and he knows that backing I mean, up they, Carl... They see RTZ. That they can go for this. You know, Cuckoo, he's, he's got the six, he's got the global, so that they can go for this... Uh, knowing that they'll, they'll be able to cover themselves pretty safely I mean, they, against any sort of response that comes in from Shopify Belly and Arteezy. Arteezy could be in trouble here. He certainly looks to be. As they're in with the Onslaught, the Pulverize, there's nothing to be done to save this DK. Is this? It's going to be another plus two. Oh, no. Wait, was he not close enough? He was not. No, he didn't get he it. He actually too. walked uh, out of range he of it. He walked away. Whoops. Oh, wow. He wants to give some mercy. mercy there. Mercy to RTZ. He was like, well, bro, this guy's a DK. You know, that's mean to steal the imp from him. He doesn't have much to work with Up anyway. Top. He's only got 400 mana. They pop the global to disengage here. Tim's, it looks like he's going to end up giving his life, though. All right, a global kind of wasted there. I guess they get the doom out, but Tim's ends up giving his life, and that's actually a decent kill bounty crit. He's able to get a good spell also. He got Blast Off. Oh. It's actually a very nice spell to get on the Rubik, especially versus Naga Siren. Eh, he won't really find Raven, though. I mean, I was going to say, nobody no, 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 nobody seems him. to be finding Raven. No. Raven's having all the space in the world. He has 130 last hits. Arteezy has 48. But he will soon have a Midas. He will and soon Raven have does a not Midas. have a Midas. This is true. But my goodness, that so, Who's be... the real winner there? Oh, and that might be some of the lowest last hits I've ever seen on Arteezy. Honestly, that might be the lowest last hits I've ever seen on Carl also. Carl has 45. <laughs> right, Carl's making it work, though, with the movement, so. Now he's nearly going to find crit. Nice Crit. lift. I was also able to pick up a shield, Brune, and he's got a, a big, scary Titan to here, ready to help out. In fact, Sableye's just going to put the Ravage, set up for the hammer. Do they have the damage? I don't know if they do. Arteezy's trying to help out, but the Blast Off's there from Tim's. Carl, he's just able to walk away from this. Well, that was awkward. They'll have to turn and sell for Tim's instead. And Carl, he'll sort of bump back into the 
with a, a bit of an onslaught. KP, he's waiting on the high ground. The stock there. Doom and Pulverize onto RTZ. As Blacklist Rivalry, they bait them in. The Black Hole comes out. This is so and awkward. It's not going to do a whole lot at all. Fly's going to go down. The net's there from Raven as they walk straight into that. Shopify Rebellion as Blacklist Rivalry, they'll be laughing all the way out of this team fight. As what? Cuckoo, he gets a good amount of it from that. I think he picks up a plus six. There, I think he did. He'll see up to plus 12. An absolute they, disaster. They I, just went straight into it. Why I mean, are they make? I'm just. In, it, they use the Ravage. They stack the stuns, oh, no, number one. This. They don't have their damage hero. They don't have their Lesh, and they're going for the absolute tankiest hero on the map. Yeah. That was uh, a bold attempt, to I mean, say the was, least. I, I guess they felt strong because they had Arteezy here. They had the black hole from Fly. But Arteezy is like a support. I mean, kind of heading into blindly into the high ground. KP was there. I mean, to be fair to them, KP pretty much been sat on the top lane. So a bit of a, you know, this Absolutely. is the first time he moves away from it, but the perfect time to but, do so. They weren't ready for the Doom to be here. And now they lose the fight and they've used their ults. They've used the Ravage. They've used the black hole. And all they got was a techies. That was, that was probably the most awkward spell casting I've ever seen from Shopify, actually. Not having their damage dealer using the, everything on the tanky hero stacking spells walking blindly up high grounds it weren't great an absolute blunder is blacklist they're gonna like you said they're gonna laugh all the I way mean, back home with that oh one. they are i guess this was what happens when there's a pesky silence of stealing as much int as he has from you this early in the game <laughs> they're losing the plot here <laughs> See what their next move's gonna be, but now they're down 3k. Raven just continues to steam ahead. I, I, this is That was devastating. Even Raven now getting involved himself. He's looking for Fly. Can he actually get the kill? Looks like he cannot. They need Abed. If they're gonna go for plays, okay. they need Abed. And Arteezy, is he gonna go down again? He but, kills the mine, okay. Okay, he should be able to live. Uh, only just will turn and we'll get Tim, so. He got the last hit. Last bit of gold to be found there. And of course, Midas is done. Get himself over to the to the creeps. Actually, there's no creeps near him. Okay, he can get over towards. He's the got hard camp. camp. Yep. So um, he'll get the Midas pumping, and yep. now the recovery can begin for the Dragon Knight. Slowly but surely. But yeah, I think for Shopify, they, they, if you're not if you don't have Abed there, you're never gonna have damage. Not for a very, very, very long time. Unless somehow he has like, I guess if Crit has like mine stolen on top of stuff too, maybe. But yeah, I think most of the times when we'll see these like black holes or ravages, it has to be if Abed's gonna be there. Yeah, they need they need this lash. Yeah, and Carl, he as we said, he's making that road to recovery. Yeah, he has. He hasn't gotten like almost any last hits in literally the last seven minutes. But he's four, two, and six. Every one of his moves are hitting. Yeah, and another I mean, one. Look at this damage just straight in. Fly's gone. Oh, this is some nice stuff here from Carl. Yeah, he knows how to, to push this hero to, to its limits, it's, it, you know, and in a situation where he, he isn't insanely farmed. He can still just do so much with the hero with his core skills. I love that him and Cuckoo are just literally running around. Like, they, they have a lot of damage. Do they I have mean, Doom? They do. Okay. The TPs are coming in. Another one. But they're just swinging across the map, threatening Shopify Rebellion's the heroes. I mean, he's he'll fine. get under the tower. All right, he's actually okay. He has a pipe as well, too, so he's okay. I mean, can they do anything in return? They, they, they're bringing further TPs in. Fly's ready to come back over. They have got Black Hole back up in about 10 seconds. Ravage is there. Okay. They could try and force something against Shopify Rebellion, because this time, Arbet is with them. And Doom is on. Oh, Cuckoo. Whoop. Tumblers. He's up to the high ground. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I, I really love Silencer voice lines, by the way. A good one there. Shopify claiming the high ground here. But yeah, have to play around Abed. Mm -hmm. Have to be careful how they use these ults. Oh, Doom on cooldown. So let's see if they try to take advantage of that a little bit here. They're going to push some pressure onto the top tower here. But only a very little bit. Arteezy, yeah. I mean, anything he can do to farm. He buys a shard. Like, any type of thing to try to no, it's full enhance his... Yeah, full yeah, bomb so. mode here for, for Arteezy, at least until he has... I imagine what after this probably still going to be some sort of BKB first, just something that allows him to have a presence in the fights. Yeah. If it was Skitter, I would say he's still just going to, he's still probably just going to do the Manta, but I think Arteezy might just go down that BKB route. Might just feel like it's necessary. I mean, because the, the, the time is ticking and Raven's farm, it's he's not slowing huge. down. He's almost it's double Arteezy. It's, it's getting close to those numbers just 16 minutes in. And damage, as we saw, is absolutely an issue for Shopify because of how shut down the. DK. They're completely reliant on the lash damage, and there's definitely natural itemization for something like a Naga at this point when you're this far ahead. You can go hard, you can go back for Mage Slayer. Yep. That's something we used to see very common, especially from you know, the one you know hero I was, the player I was mentioning, Skinner in particular, to be able to deal with this lash. That was kind of the TI meta. I mean, I think that, I think that will be, absolutely be the case. Yeah. Yep. Heart, heart into, into, into Mage Slayer Bloodfall. Yep. Really, really strong pickup. They're getting stacks going, I see, on Shopify, so they're trying their best. They're trying to set up for uh, Arteza to have the recovery outlet. It's, it's, it's still very, very slow. He still needs level 12 to be able to clear those stacks, too. KP? 
It'll be fine. Just a lesser losing. I mean, but now the rest are coming. Ooh, Black hole. Ooh, he's gonna try. The backup is here, and the global's out. The black hole will not secure a kill. Plus two. It's a dead fly, and it's going to be a dead crit as well. As crit stuck in the tree lines, Cuckoo just continuing his killing spree and his spree of stealing the. He took the kill. Of well. course, he's the carry, my friend. Look at him gun. 18 int on this man. He didn't even use the global for the black hole. He was like Lamau. Okay, yeah, my. Good luck. My doom has a pipe. He is surviving straight through that. Koku, confident. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, you know, he's going to get the four staff. I, you know, if I, I was him, I'd be tempted to just upgrade that all the way to a hurricane pike, starting to start hitting those heroes. You he's know? probably looking at his tranquil boots and he's like, damn it, <laughs> why do I have these? Okay, on uh, Carl and yeah, with this BKB, not a lot that can stop this this primal beast from just charging down anybody. No, definitely not. Raven, he's okay. He's actually killing the butterfly for now. Maybe feeling like it doesn't matter. He okay. has the heart to tank through. Yes, yeah, I guess he feels unkillable enough. I mean, yep. with the lead that he has, sure, the the damage at this point, at least from the other heroes, is not going to clear his illusions out very quickly at all. No, definitely not. And this one, he can kind of just cut all the creep waves completely. Then, maybe not. But don't blame him. He also has the coat bracelet, which is. Pretty OP item on yeah. something like the Naga Siren for your illusions. Yeah, and of course, they, they, they only will ever have the magical damage. You know, there's nobody on Shapiro Rebellion's lineup that's going to be buying any sort of true strike. Even if the DK did have farm, you know, that's MKB is not going to be coming out anytime soon. He is he is queuing up the Yasha for now. I mean, it's the greedy route that he kind of might have to go. Just going straight for the Mance and going for the super late game. Okay. Manta, uh, Aghanim's kind of build rather than going for BKB and playing to try to scale. But yeah, 7k lead right now for Blacklist. Feels like they're just getting absolutely everything. Yeah, it's, it, it's a tough sort of hole to dig themselves out of Shapiro. Yep. Rebellion, so th they've got to try for stuff like this, I guess. Honestly, Carl has just been a breath of fresh air on this Primal Beast after, like we said, the, the hard lane. The, a lot of it, the ton of attention that they put onto him, too. He's just made every rotation work. They've got eyes on Arteezy top. There might be a bit too much to go in under the tier two for him. They're bringing everybody up here. I mean, they're happy to take a fight, Blacklist rivalry. They're way stronger. And they're taking the tower. Yeah. Chopper fight. What's their answer going to be? There's no Black Hole. They do have Ravage. They want to try for something, but the rest of Blacklist Rivalry, they're smoked up behind Raven. Raven's just going to be able to take the tower for free. Shop of Fire Rebellion just not ready to put together a team fight. I think Blacklist is really, I mean, they just know the only threat on the map is the Leshrac. Nobody else matters, really. They're all com they're just super fragile. Fly. They only do damage. Fly. He's trying to hide in the trees for, I mean, maybe some sort of setup, but he didn't even have the black hole. There was nothing to be done there. Fly gets caught and, and same crit. to be set for crit. Not too sure what the plan was there from the two supports as there was going to be no no chance of a fight going in their favor. It was just the two of them hanging around mid. Is Arteezy even going to be able to get to the point of recovery? Is he going to even hurt this Nagasar? It, it's literally going to get to the point of double net worth here for Raven. An Octary now for KP2, so even more Midas's, even more Dooms, etc. As another tier 2 to fall, and they didn't have to expend pretty much anything to get those kills in this tower. And setting up for bottom to Abed. So that was close we'll as well there. A moment sooner, and Carl, if he had the angle, would have caught him. Abed. I mean, really just doing his best to try and push these lanes out and, and get the farm in these more dangerous parts of the maps that you know, RTZ himself cannot afford to go for. He's trying to take what they can and be as efficient as a possible whilst playing from behind and playing against it. A very scary lineup of Blacklist rivalry that can pretty much kill any of Shopify Rebellion's heroes. When, how many items does Arteezy need to really be able to fight? I mean, Ags, Manta... I mean, probably just the Ags, Manta. Yes, you want your MKB and stuff like that. Raven! But Raven, there's a global available. It's gonna put to, so that black hole immediately to a stop, and Carl's here ready to back Raven up. Fly's gone. And they're looking towards Raven. They've got the, the ravage. ravage. Where's the damage? They can't threaten Raven. They'll get KP, but the Doom has been dropped down onto our bed. Raven's here as well to help finish him off. Can they find the deny? They can't. Raven gets the double. Cuckoo's turned up. He's ready for some in. The Big blast up on Tim's over onto the two of them. Carl and Raven perfectly fine. They can clean up more. It's easy to fall. It's four dead on Shopify Rebellion. More ints for Cuckoo. They get the lash. They get that Doom on top of him. Yeah, the Ravage connects pretty nicely, but yeah, Arteezy's just, he's a creep. He can't do anything this He time. literally does zero damage to anybody. He actually did the most damage by far in the fight. He did 5,300, but everybody's kind of just still full HP. And down the mid they go. Yeah, three dead on shot for Fire Rebellion. Raven with this. He's going to be able to push pretty pretty fast with the Eagle Song. He's going to have the full butterfly he has coming it done. out. 22 minutes in. Holy Definitely crap. one of the faster timings you'll see on a, an Argus Siren with this sort of build up. Now they're, they're smashing it so far here. Blacklist Rivalry in this game, too. I mean, Winter had faith in the.
Raven, Naga, what Siren. Saying, well, I mean, Raven is definitely a master classer on these type of heroes, the TBs and Nagas. He's had all the space, and he's played it perfect. All right, when is uh, <laughs> when is Arteezy going to be able to fight versus any of this? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. He's, he's still away off his Manta. Uh oh, and he shows himself bottom. They're ready for oh. him. Cuckoo's here, Kims. Can't quite connect. Okay. He's going to be able to back off in time. And they get time to just back up, reset, blacklist, doom, back up in 15 seconds. Can look to just kind of go again. And it's just so hard for them to ever take advantage of cooldowns because Carl, he just keeps catching heroes. Fly, yeah. Not, the, not, not a chance to get away with this. I mean, he's, yeah, super close to his axe. 600 what? gold off. What a game from Carl, really. Uh, and the fact that he's, again, just doing it, you know, he's not got some flashy amount of fun at all. Nope. You know, he's low down on the net worth comparatively with the other cores, but just getting so much done as this Primal Beast, pretty much for the most part, with just the, the phase and the BKB alone. He's just known exa exactly where to hit. 8, 2, and 11. He's doing so much, and he's taking so little from the map, right? Giving all this freedom, all these waves for Raven to farm, for KP to farm. You know, he's, he's been impactful without treading on the, the feet of his other cores. It's, yeah, it's beautiful, really. And the Aghanim's build up, his, his item build up is really natural, I guess, too. Right? Aghanim's versus this Tide versus this DK. Sure, yeah. They were squishy already. Now they're going to be incredibly fragile. And it's a, it is a lot of damage as well, too, that we've been seeing from it, so. What is the recovery here for Shopify? Somehow Abed has to kind of not get doomed and has to be able to survive for what feels like a, like a minute inside the fight or something, just dishing out damage entirely here. And, uh, yeah, Cheesy's just, just really far from having that item to be able to actually feel scary in a fight. 4k gold, and then maybe he'll be somewhat scary. But if he's farming 4k gold, that means this Naga Siren's probably farming 8 to 10,000 gold during thing, that time. Yeah, Raven's going to be close to a point where he can pretty much just summon his illusions, just a click down a lane, and he'll end up wiping half the team. Yeah, they have no real answers to these illusions. Not with how big he is. He's just committing yeah, forward here. Going on under the twos. Gets in under the tower, takes out Fly. He has no fear. And what are they going to do about it? He's, kinda, he's like, I might want to go for more. Crit's got to be careful. The song's actually going to come oh, out. Oh, they're looking for that setup. They're bringing in the rest of them. They've got the catch on to Saberlight. Pulverize is there. Saberlight's gone. Holy crap. All right, well, probably time to start thinking about the next game. <laughs> maybe maybe quite some minutes ago, perhaps, here for Shopify. I mean, what, what, is the, the, what would the plan be? I mean, you know, we heard from Winter, as you say, you know, saying how much they, you can trust in Raven's Naga to carry. It comes out in this first phase. Is there some sort of opening you can do to dissuade this, or do you have to even consider maybe a, a Naga Siren ban against Raven? Maybe you do have to consider getting rid of it early on, because they did have the three core I mean, picks afterwards to answer, which could, could, they all kind of thought could look good, but it just it, it hasn't even existed because Arteezy's literally had no game. I mean, could they have set up a better lane against the Naga Siren, or was this one not bad? No, it's it a good one. play out as well as it needed to. No, I think they did I think they did a good job. They took the tower early and stuff like that. It's yeah. just Arteezy was pretty much half net worth after the laning phase ended. Even though it looked like he was getting that good farm, his last hits, he just had like, what, 25 last hits compared to the Raven who had like 60. I think snowballed quickly from the rotations from this Primal Beast. It's a Rax. He's got the BKB coming out next, Raven, so... Good lord. Yeah still, yeah, still nearly three minutes left on the Aegis. So they, they could just keep pushing. I mean, if they want to stick around inside the base of Shop of Fire Belly, and I don't sure. think Shop of Fire Belly is going to be able to have anything to say about it. Nope. And when is, the, when is the call for them? I mean, maybe it's just like Abed farm BKB and then they try to go for a last hurrah of engagement, but... Well, they have their Ravage and the Black Hole. Get some stun here. Pipe. So if they can even take him down the once, I mean, they can't. Oh. Raven's able to back off and heal up. Oh, they're going to be ready to go again. Blacklist rivalry. I mean, if they want to, at the same time, you know, they're in a very solid spot and with fantastic heroes to sort of take this game to any any sort of point down the road. They can just cut the waves. Honestly, Raven can just sit in the mid lane, send one or two illusions to each of these side lanes, make sure that the waves just keep pushing and they can just keep Shopify trapped inside the base at this point. Abed, he's gonna have the BKB done and let's see if they can try to fight one last hurrah. See, they're going into the base, they get the jump on towards Saberlight and Arteezy. Saberlight immediately taken down as the mid tower is exposed. Now pop the glyph. So something to be forced out there. And Raven did pop BKB for this one. Still has ages for a minute. 
All right, here's the dream fly. The global's on cooldown. This okay. is your moment. <laughs> it's going to have to be a walk up and black hole, though, of course. No <laughs> yeah. blink. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty impossible one, but if there's any time to do it in this game. Oh, Raven. Sweet little dodge there of Arbed stun. See if they can take him down the once. This time round, they might get him. As, uh, no, nope. no, they won't. Not he even. Falls back to safety. It's just a bait. They jump in with the blast off. The BKB is out from R, but he, but he does get caught by the Doom. He'll try and run him down. He ravage. He's there on the four of them. It's enough to allow them to take the Aegis out of Raven's hands. Now, do they have enough for round two, though? That's the question. Because Carl's back in the pole, rush onto Arteezy. Arteezy is gone. It's a three man black hole. Is there follow up? There is not. As Carl's able to charge out, Saberlight will come over the Anchor Smash, trying to block up KP's escape. But the song is up. And Blacklist rivalry, we will be able to reset without any sort of issue. And it was a situation as well, of course, both of those buybacks coming out, Saberlight buying back, Arteezy buying back, they don't get anything with it as Blacklist rivalry, they're able to safely retreat. Abed gets literally like full duration of the team fight damage onto everybody there, Pipe gets popped, nobody dies, a great song to disengage, literally as the buybacks yeah, come out. They're, they're playing it super nice and super safe as well, yep. now messing around from Blacklist rivalry as they look to close this game up, 20k lead, Too tanky. and looking to be in full control of the outcome of this one. We well, see you know, this fight, some big ults were hit, we had like a four man Ravage coming out into this three man black hole. But uh, when you're doing this against a team that's 20k ahead, the likelihood is you're probably not going to kill them. No, especially not in Naga Sarans, who's this big <laughs> with this pipe, of course, here from the Doom. Blocking pretty much everything there from poor Abed. Abed's 2-1-1 one, one in this game, too. Oh, he's trying his best. He's trying, but TZ this time... Had a tough one. They had a real tough one. This was a tough one. I mean, do you think with their draft as well, was it the plan all along to have the DK in the safe lane, or was this something that was switched around during the drafting phase? Probably was switched around a little bit and talked about and flexed, but I don't know if we'll see it again. We haven't got to see, we got to see some players, but it's mostly just, yeah, it's like Skater who I've seen that has the most success on it. And this has been a tough one. It's been just a really hard one. Mid lane. Back to business for Blacklist Rivalry. Carl's oh, in. The jump. He's going to get in with the jump, the catch, on to Saberlight. He's trying to tank through it all. We'll manage to get back under the towers. Global Stars is going to be popped here to put a stop to the stolen Pulverize. And they disengage again. Arteezy, he'll cut the wave, trying to find some time to farm. Actually gets away with it. He's hit level 18. He act all right, It looks like he's actually going to be able to get level 18 in Aghanims at the least, so... He'll be able to get the itemization that he wanted. It's just at this deficit, yeah, I'm just... Tickling heroes. How long of a fight does Shopify need to be able to somehow kill heroes? I don't know, it feels like it needs to last like almost like 90 seconds of continuous damage. They're gonna smoke up. I've got Ravage. No black hole there. Just cutting waves. Trying the best to try to get these lanes out of position here. Mid lane, it's coming in. A blacklist rivalry keeping their eyes on it, making sure that this doesn't get snarked by any sort of movement from Arteezy. Pulverize. are coming in. Pulverize is still stolen from crit. I've seen even though even if they get the lockdown on these cores, it's it's uh, it's, it's not a, not an option to find the damage to, to threaten them at all. As this mid rex it's just going to be left to fall. Akizi sends the illusions to cut the wave in mid. Doesn't get the whole wave. I got most of it. They have a wave top though. And they're looking to just end this one. Looking to get the Mega Creeps. Yep. I gotta do something soon, Shopify. Arteezy doesn't have shape. He doesn't have his ult, though, for 45 seconds, so... They'll have to wait for that, probably. But can they wait for that? Okay. Tower's dropping. They have the ult, Saberlight. He was trying to, to what, cut the wave. But they've got him. Farewell. They have well and truly got him. And he is going to be out for 90 seconds, oh. and he was doing this move without buyback available, of course, still on cooldown. Oops. I mean, either way, the game, it probably wasn't going to be going shop for Fire Belly in Whoop's way at this point. Uh, and Raven, he's in with the BKB. They're ready to close this up, Blacklist rivalry, as they kill off Crit. He'll buy back. Jump for from KP. He's managed to get the jump in onto Arbed. He's in with the Storm, in with the Doom, blocking off Arbed.
to the game. Right, the last three picks, Shopify, like you said, they, they seem to have this idea versus the Nagasarn. Yeah, it quickly did not work. I mean, that move...